Good morning guys, how's it going? Or it could be good evening or good night, depending on what part of the world you're in. Yeah, today, right, I was going to show you about the uh, the little uh, the rocket that I've got, you know, the Apollo, where it has uh, sections that break off. Well, sometimes they do, yeah, you know, the, the adapters and all that sort of thing, yeah. And uh, yeah, I was going to put a CV joint in uh, the car because it's up for MOT. However, it's snowing, yeah, snowing in the UK, believe it or not. Wow, look at this, it's snowing. Yeah, great. I know some people think, oh no, look, <laughs> it's only snow, but yeah, it's only snow, but it's a very rare occasion. And it'd be like having a one day of sunshine a year, isn't it? It's like the one day of snow we get a year. Nice, nice. And there's quite uh, quite a bit of it, it's, it's laying quite thick, which is good, because we don't often get snow. It's not like Canada or, or North America here. We, we are very deprived. I know some of you northerners in the UK probably have a, a lot more snow than we do, but because we live quite close to the, uh, the coast, it's a lot warmer air that comes through. But yeah, <laughs> can you believe it? I was planning to uh, get the CV joint banged in, because the MOT is looming. If not, it might have even passed by now. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got to get that sorted, which has put me back a little bit. Never mind, I've uh, got other cars to use in the meantime. So yeah, um, I'm, uh, I've been having a, what they call a little bit of an epiphany lately. And this was set on actually when uh, um, my service manager retired. That's David. Hello, David, if you're there and you're watching us. Yeah, it's still about, and some people are still talking about you. <laughs> Always in a nice way. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I was uh, talking to this camera as well. Um, if you remember the competition, the uh, 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 winner's notification, and I looked at myself because this camera's actually quite clear, and I thought, oh, that, there we go, I've hit 50 odd because yeah, I've got the wrinkles and I've got the saggy bits and all of that. Yeah, I'm not, am I faring too well? I don't know, I don't know to be honest with you, but I feel okay. One thing, my hands work. My hands still work. I don't suffer from arthritis. Um, unfortunately, some people do. It's a, actually bad condition. Um, but yeah, as you start to uh, creep up in age, you start to uh, think about other things, don't you? And life definitely does go in stages. It definitely does go in stages. Some of you young'uns have only just started and you might just be getting on the property ladder. Uh, others of you already had your bought your properties, paid your mortgage off, and uh, the kids have moved away. Yeah, well, I'm sort of liking that uh, children growing up stage where they're nearly old enough to, to fly the nest. And uh, this leaves me actually with wondering what I am going to do when I'm older. Yeah, there are two ways of looking at things. Uh, one of those is uh, living to work, where you are literally existing just to go to work and you enjoy work because there you have all your social contacts and you have activities. And when you come home, it's actually quite boring. And then other people work to live where they are going to work. And they'll probably, like me, do the, the minimum amount of hours they possibly can, you know, enjoy the time that they're in it there, and then they come back home and then they've got other stuff to do. That's the right way of doing it, in my opinion. Okay, I've known guys that have retired and uh, they've died within two years because they've, they've no purpose to their life. They've literally lived to work. They got to that point where they don't see much uh, purpose to life and they end up just dying inside. And that does have a physical effect. It definitely does have a physical effect on people. And it's sad to see, really. So, yeah, like I'm saying, I've, I've seen uh, people retire. I'm seeing people that I know that I work with for a while actually grow grey hair and they start to hobble about a bit more. And yeah, I'm in that boat as well. Yeah, so I'm trying to keep myself fit and at least supple uh, by doing yoga. But then there's that other factor of uh, I, I don't actually have that much longer to go of my working career before I finish. And then that is it. What am I going to do? There is a, a thing called the empty nest and a lot of couples um, go through this where the children leave home and they've got to then find a, a different way of life or, or living or just doing things that they wish they had done when they were younger. Yeah. So with me, yeah, I uh, actually, uh, it was one of these things I was sitting down at the computer the other day and I was just uh, looking at stuff and I, I, I got onto bass guitar and I looked at these uh, tutors, okay, because everything you can learn on the internet now. And I thought, wow, this is different from when I was younger, because you know, I used to play the bass guitar. 
and I, I had guitar lessons, stuff like that. And uh, actually, I, I went quite far with it. I actually moved away from home, went down to London, uh, met a lot of wonderful people, played in bands and stuff like that. But reality bites in, and then you've got to like you know settle down and uh, get a job and everything and a career, and that's what I did. And yeah, so anyway, getting back to the story, I was looking at these guys on YouTube and I was thinking, wow, look, all this stuff, I, I know this stuff, it's still, it's literally locked away in my head, pentatomic scales, I mean, if you're a musician, you'll probably know what a Dorian scale is, don't you, majors, minors and all that sort of thing, well, yeah, locked away in my head and I'm looking at these guys thinking, fucking hell, actually, I enjoy that, I love the riffs you're playing, I understand, I can see what you're doing on your fretboard, blah, 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 and I thought, ah, uh, I have this, this feeling and suddenly there was a little bit of emptiness that I'd noticed that was in the background that was filled because that is something that I want to do when I'm older is, is to, to play in um, bands, yeah? Now, I will come out of the closet a little bit. I am a little bit of a lonely guy at the moment. I don't have the same social circles I had when I was younger. I mean, you go to work, you come back, and then you sort of like got to deal with life. And, and now most of us are on the internet, aren't we? And we've got friends or <laughs> acquaintances on the internet, yet we don't do as much as what we did. And this COVID virus thing, lockdowns and everything else has really smacked it home to us that we sort of like on our own, yeah? So my brain is thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind playing bass again and uh, being in bands. And then, of course, there's that social aspect to it and that activity and going out and stuff. And I thought, yeah, that's a good retirement plan. Good retirement plan for activity for me to do is a passion that's never quite died in me. Never quite died. Yes, I do jig about in the kitchen with music and pretend with the old uh, air bass, you know, the old air bass. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Um, but I had a handicap when I was... Uh, um, playing because I'm left-handed and I played right-handed and uh, of course if you know anything about slap bass playing you you have a rhythm with your with your left hand for me for instance but with the right hand it never never could get the coordination so I, I did a lot of uh, finger playing yeah which is, is restrictive in my skill so my aim is and I've already ordered a bass guitar now one of the cheapest ones you can get is to learn or learn to, to walk again and, and do slap bass playing and stuff like that. The the melodies, how to listen and all that sort of thing is in my head, so it's just a matter of getting these things to work. And I thought um, that my fingers would stop working as I got older, but they're not, they're really, really supple. Yeah, so that's a, a bonus to me. That's a bonus to me, personally. So, you know, I'm coming out of the closet a little bit here and telling you what I am going to do. Yeah, it's, it's one of these things you'll probably not see and uh, you know how this channel will be. You'll drift off eventually and you'll find other interests and watch other YouTube channels and I'll just be a, a memory to you. However, I'll be planking away or planking away in the background or learning at least and, and then working towards that very, very slowly until I can step into it. Once I've retired, it's like, yeah, go and play jazz. Go and play jazz, you know, in those smoky clubs. Music's still alive. Uh, unfortunately, things have changed and music tastes have changed, but there's always, always musicians about, yeah? So that is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> now, anyway, if you've got to the end of this video and you've, you actually managed to, to listen to me, so I'm, I'm curious, uh, do you have plans when you're older? What, what are you going to do or what are you doing if you are retired or, or just about to retire? Do you have enough to fill your life? over uh, the brim you know fill the, the cup of life uh, over the brim with stuff or are you looking towards something that might be a little bit depressive because I, I'm pretty sure some people do get a little bit frustrated because it's a massive change it's a massive change isn't it when suddenly all those people that you knew uh, you don't see them very often uh, or at all um, you're faced with yourself at the end of the day so you know you young and you probably won't even grasp the concept of this yet um, you've got your hobbies, your cars and everything else, it changes through life, you learn so much through life, it's unbelievable. Um, there is a point where you will sit back and you'll, you'll look back at your life and think, fuck, I've done a lot. Yeah, Some people won't, they'll go, yeah, I ain't done enough yet. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those, I definitely haven't done enough. And I think this is a, a motivation to, to keep powering on because because it's just the way it is, isn't it? Some people, we're all different and uh, we all have our own certain aspects to us. And I don't mind uh, putting my heart on my sleeve. There's stuff you will never know about me, yeah? But there is stuff that I'll, I'll open and I'll show you. So uh, this is one of these heart on the sleeve moments, yeah? 
my passion was a bass guitar playing and I'm going to fucking do it again, yeah? Fuck work, because it's just there to earn a living at the end of the day. I'm not living to work, I'm uh, working to live. And that is my attitude and it always will be my attitude, even though I can put my energy and my passions into it. It doesn't mean to say when I work a while, walk away from it, I'm thinking, oh yeah, all those sweet memories while I'm sitting there with my pint alone in the, in the fucking pub, or sitting there with all these people talking the same old bullshit about fucking lorries that don't exist anymore. No, that ain't for me. That ain't for me. I'm not going to live in the past. I'm, I'm going to live in the present, and of course I've got the future in mind as well. I do feel a little bit self-conscious about talking to a camera while I'm walking, <coughs> even though people talk to their mobile phones and all sorts, don't they? It's no big deal these days. Um, yeah. So yeah, I used to play bass guitar. I was in quite a few bands, and um, it just petered out. To be honest with you, there's lots of different reasons why you um, changed. One of those, I had to get a profession, really, more than anything. And I never thought I'd uh, be thinking about it again. However, I jig along to music sometimes, and I listen to bass lines, and yeah, it's always been like something passive in the background until recently, and. A part of it, and I've got to admit this, is I am quite a lonely old fucker, really. Uh, because, not just of this COVID, but I'm uh, not one of those guys that really is that sociable, even though I am a, a sociable person, if you understand what I mean. I don't have many mates or anything. And I look back now to the best times of my life was when I was uh, in my 20s. And we used to live in a tribe. Yeah, I used to live in London in a tribe, a group of people. Um, lots of connections because we're always going out and doing gigs and meeting people and stuff like that. And that's what's missing, especially in this sort of place because simply the social circles are different, yeah? So at times I felt really, really isolated and it, it's not painful. You just, you know, you go to work, you come home, you have your family, then your family grows up and all that sort of bollocks, you know. Anyway, let's fucking hope the uh, the weather's not going to affect you too much. And I'd like to hear from you guys. Um, just I'm curious about you um, to know what you're, you're up to sort of thing. What sort of like ideas you might have when you're older. Whether you might diverge and, and do something like property management. Who fucking knows, you know. It's only you that knows. Um, but yeah. I'm always of that opinion of like people that are unique, everybody's got their own thing about them. So comments below there if you want to open up a little bit and say, yeah, I've got some plans when, I've re when I'm retiring or yes, I do this when I'm retired or whatever. Go on, put some comments down below. Let's, let's, uh, let's do it because yeah, it's winter at the moment. So we're restricted on what we're going to do. Anyway, see you later guys. <laughs>